Well, it's a rapid day two of the engine swap. Uh, hey, I've done so much more today than yesterday. Uh, I've worked for probably about six hours on this, seven hours. Um, so I got all the turbo stuff off. I can't remember if I did that or not yesterday now that I think of it. I got the radiator, intercooler, and evap out. I broke the piping on the evap, but that doesn't matter because I'm just leaving the one that's in the uh, sedan attached. That way I don't have to refill the um, AC system. I got my downpipe off. I got the uh, that fucking thing off. That was a bitch. Um, I decided to, rather than undoing all the piping, I decided to just drop the uh, power steering pump and the uh, compressor as this compressor does not work and they are both really really rusty so I'll just end up doing the same thing I'll drop the compressor and power steering pump on the sedan and I'll just throw the block in without those attached and bolt up the sedans that way I don't have to drain all my power steering fluid I don't have to drain uh, the AC refrigerant um, what else did I do I removed the fuel rail, took out the injectors and just wiped them down a little bit. They were, you couldn't even tell that they were green tops. They looked like dirt tops. Um, and I broke the bolts on the head or on the uh, intake because I am going to use the intake that's on the sedan again because this one is all corroded and dirty and disgusting. And that way I don't have to mess with the uh, throttle body cables or undoing any of that stuff. I can just, I know that one works fine how it is. And just bolt that one directly onto this block. I um, think that is pretty much it for today. Um, I know there's stuff that I'm forgetting. I undid a bunch of the vacuum hoses from other stuff. Undid the battery, started undoing all those wiring. Um, tomorrow... I will be taking off the um, intake, dealing with the Medusa that is hidden below it, and then hopefully pulling the engine, removing all the lines from the ABS to go into the sedan, pushing this thing out, and then pulling the sedan in and starting that whole process. Uh, I really hope to have this engine out by like 2 o'clock tomorrow. I plan to start around like 10 o'clock, um, 2 o'clock at the absolute latest. Oh yeah, I also, this is another thing that I forgot. I knew I got a lot more work done than I was saying. I also took out the ECUs from the wagon. That way I have the turbo computers. And apparently the uh, Volvo gods of luck are on my side because I got the um, black, I mean, yeah, the black. The uh, gold ECU and uh, the 965. So these are both the only, I believe, chippable ECUs, uh, fuel and ignition ECUs uh, that they put in these cars. So I lucked out. I didn't have. I'm not going to have to go out and buy chippable ECUs for when I want to chip tune, get the loss art of chips. Um, I already have them. So awesome about that really stoked uh, that fucking gold one underneath the uh, steering wheel was a bitch to get out but it happened I cut a little bit I cheated but I don't care because this is going to a scrapyard so I'll be back with you tomorrow with an update hopefully this engine will be on the ground over there someplace resting on a tire who knows um, I sure as hell don't know I hope though so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Peace out.